What is up, guys? Welcome back to Picking a Fight. I'm Latch. I'm Jeff. And today we're going to be looking at the co-main event of UFC 270 in Ghana versus Ghana. We're going to be looking at Brandon Moreno versus Davison Figueiredo. This is the trilogy, mm -hmm. the one that could possibly settle it all, one, settle it all once and for all. Mm -hmm. What you think, bro? Uh, this one's going to be crazy. I think the first one ended in a draw, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, there's a lot of factors into that. There was the the kick to the, you know, the and groin. Uh, there's also the eye poke. So a bunch of factors that took place into that one. Uh, I think Figueredo would have won that one without the point deductions. Yeah, for sure. So um, really it was 1-0 at that point. And then uh, the second fight, Brandon Moreno submitted a Davison Figueredo, evening the score. Not really, but... Um, so this third one is really going to settle the deal. I mean, I think if Brandon Moreno wins this one, obviously Figueredo gonna is going to have to beat a couple a couple guys to get that title shot again. But I, I honestly see Brandon Moreno uh, winning this fight. I think it's going to go the, the distance this time, though. I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. Brandon Moreno is the overall more well-rounded more well -rounded fighter. Um, I think Figueredo still has a lot of gaps. I mean, he's been training... Uh, you know, with Cejudo, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And um, I think his wrestling might be better, but I don't think he's, like, that's going to be his game plan going in. I don't think he's going to shoot or anything. I think it's more of a defensive approach mm -hmm. to it. Like, if he gets taken down, that he'll be able to. But it's weird because I felt like even when Figueredo got taken down, it's not like he struggled to get up necessarily. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes he, could, he just pops straight up. So... I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I think on the feet, Brandon Moreno has proved that he could last longer. And he he's, I think, a little more accurate with his punches. And we saw his submission game is better. So it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. But I think Brandon Moreno takes the unanimous decision win. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, nah, my train of thought is very similar. I think that Brandon Moreno, uh, he did well in the first fight. But I felt like he was, um, I don't know, like he wasn't he wasn't dominating and he was in my opinion falling behind a lot in interviews after that fight he did say that he wanted to be very cautious with figueredo's power especially because it was um it was kind of short notice for both of those guys mm -hmm. you know they they had fought i think like a month and a half or two months before mm -hmm. so he was being really cautious and um and then you saw in the second fight he came prepared he he wasn't very cautious he was just kind of doing his own thing now mm -hmm. and he um honestly he at first you know they were kind of evenly matched but i felt like moreno was for sure getting the better of figueredo mm -hmm. and then eventually you know the submission came and i think this fight will be no different except i do agree i think it's a go to decision um but i think moreno kind of implement the same thing and um i think we are kind of seeing a little bit of what figueredo is going to change up mm -hmm. we saw him like you said he's training a fight ready mma with henry cejudo mm -hmm. and um that tells me a few that can only tell me a few things uh, on what he's planning to change I don't know if he thought maybe his wrestling game was what um, was what hindered him in the first fight because, you know, he got taken down and stuff. Mm -hmm. And in the second fight, obviously, he got taken down, too. But I don't know if he's trying to stop that and he thinks that was his downfall because mm -hmm. I can straight up tell him I don't think it was. I think he was getting he was losing on the feet regardless. Yeah. And um, and I don't think it would change um, like uh, either that or he's trying to make this fight more folk wrestling focused you know mm. so he's going to come out and be offensive with the re you know the wrestling because he is pretty strong for you know i think he, i don't know if he's five five i feel like that's not true i feel like he's at least five six but <laughs> whatever but he's <laughs> he's a strong guy you know he cuts so much weight for this division and um so does moreno but not as much as this man man he'd be looking rough sometimes yeah. you know he's missed so i think for sure if he I th I, but i feel like those two things whether he's just doing it to tighten up his defense, the defensive wrestling, or he's going to go offensively with it mm -hmm. and be the one wrestling. I don't feel like um, th that game plan, though either of those game plans are good enough to win the fight. You know, we've seen Moreno. He has pretty, he has really good takedown defense. And when he gets yeah. down, I mean, he's really good there. You know, he has a great submission game. He can get up. We've seen that, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so I don't think if, if he comes out to wrestle, I don't see that being a winning game plan, right? Especially if he can't put it together on the feet. Mm -hmm. but Figueredo still obviously is very dangerous he still has a lot of power he's fast you know he's strong mm -hmm. but I, I don't see that being being a game uh winning game plan for him you know so I, that's why I, I I feel comfortable saying Moreno is probably gonna win a decision um I think Figueredo practicing his wrestling has probably been practicing also his defensive wrestling and so I I think maybe he I think he probably will get taken down again just because I think Moreno showed that it was more his timing than anything else that really got him to take downs mm -hmm. and so I think 
Figueroa, I think he'll be able to stuff some takedowns. I think he will get taken down, but I think he'll do a lot better job of not getting submitted, not giving his back or putting himself in vulnerable positions to lose the fight. Mm -hmm. But I do think Moreno will be the one to uh, have the advantage on the ground mm -hmm. and on the feet. So that's why I'll, I'll go with Moreno by decision. Um, but anything can happen. But I, I feel com I feel pretty comfortable with that decision. He is only 28, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I've been watching him for, for a break now. But he um, he's only getting better, too. You know, I mean, he's he had yeah. a rough run. Um, we showed he's getting better. He's the competition he's fighting is, you know, it's not easy competition mm -hmm. and he's winning these fights, you know, so it's very impressive. And, you know, Figueredo's 34. I think, you know, maybe he's at the tail end of his prime. This could be the fall off if he loses, you know, yeah. there's a lot at stake for both these guys. Moreno could close the trilogy here mm -hmm. or Davidson. I think if he wins, they do it one more time because it'll be one, one and one. <laughs> so yeah. it, they'll do it That's one true. more time, which only sucks for the flyweight division. But if this fight ends up being half as exciting as the first one or the second one, mm. I think um, the UFC would not hesitate to make that fourth fight. You know, yeah. they like I know Henry Cejudo basically fl saved the flyweight division, mm -hmm. but I feel like Moreno Figueroa were definitely the ones to uh, like, like uh, solidify, the, make it thrive. Yeah, yeah you know, because Figueroa came in, God of War, sleeping people. You know, yeah. people always believe flyweights. You know, they don't have power. You know, mm. they, you know it's not as fun to watch. And then he was over here dropping people. You know, he. He submitted Benavidez. You know, he, he knocked him out the first time. Yeah. You know, he was smoking these guys. And then, you know, Moreno comes in, gives an exciting fight. You know, people love Moreno. He's such a good guy. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. There's a lot at stake, but yeah, I think we both agree Moreno by decision. Yeah. Yeah. Anything can happen, but uh, let us know down below. Do you think Figueredo evens the score and they go maybe take it to fourth fight? Do you think Moreno does get it done? Do you think he gets the finish? We don't think so, but let us know what you think. Um, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe if you like this kind of content. We put up videos um, almost for every pay-per-view or fight night. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. And, yeah, man, it's going to be a fun night of fights. Go check out our other videos. We're actually doing three other fights on the same card. And it's going to be a good, it's gonna be a good uh, night of fights. So, we'll see you then, man. Don't forget to tune